You're about to start the new topic of... And this is just a brief introduction to some of the things that you'll see in this new section of the course. So let's have a look and see what's in store for you in this new topic. Rivers crisscross our entire country and they continually shape the land where they flow. The shape of the river valley changes as they flow downstream and we can see how this happens by looking at the long profile and the cross profile. Fluvial processes include different types of erosion and transportation, with the river's load eventually being deposited where the energy of the water subsides. Due to these processes, there are some distinctive landforms that you will need to be aware of. Erosion creates interlocking spurs, waterfalls and gorges, whereas erosion and deposition will create meanders and oxbow lakes. Where deposition occurs, you will find levees, floodplains and estuaries. As always, case studies are important, so you'll look at some of these landforms within a UK river valley. Due to the dynamic nature of the rivers, we need to be aware of different strategies that we can use to protect us from the effects of flooding. In order to do this, we must first understand what causes flooding, both human and physical factors. We can use hydrographs to look at the potential for different rivers to flood, which can help with long-term management. There are different management strategies that can be assessed, and these include hard engineering, such as dams, and soft engineering, such as afforestation. Again, you'll need to be aware of an actual flood management scheme in the UK, and be aware of why it was needed, what the strategy is, and any social, economic, or environmental issues that it created. With many of us living close to rivers, understanding them and knowing how they can be managed is important for our future safety.